Hey everyone, welcome back to the Goth House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny, and today I am making a super quick video for you on Amish peanut butter, aka church spread. I don't know if you've had this stuff before. If you live in the Midwest, you probably have. I absolutely love it. I have loved it for many years. <laughs> And I wanted to make some up real quick and thought I had better turn on my camera and um, show you how I make it, just in case you wanna make some. It's delicious. There's many different ways to make it. Every family has their own recipe. This is the way I like it. So I'm gonna show you how I make it. Okay, so here's the thing about the um, church spread or Amish peanut butter, whatever you like to call it. You should use measuring cups only because <laughs> If you just throw it all in a bowl and you know all the ingredients, then each time it's going to taste differently. If you get it just the way you like it and you have it tweaked perfectly where you absolutely love it, you'll want to make it the same time, the same way every time. Um, so you're going to need marshmallow cream, peanut butter, any brand you like, and you're going to need caro. I am going to put my caro in first. You need one cup of caro, and this actually, shoot, happens to be a cup and a half, so <laughs> there's my cup. I didn't realize I grabbed the cup and a half measuring cup. So one cup of caro. You're going to want a half a cup of peanut butter. There's my half a cup. And then marshmallow cream. You're gonna want about a quarter to a half a cup, depending on how much you like it. And I better get a clean spatula. Oop. Okay, so it's usually about a quarter-ish. Sometimes I put in a little extra just because marshmallow cream is my fave. And you just stir it all together. Yep, extra sweet, so not healthy. Um, the Amish are not known for their healthy recipes, but they sure are known for delicious recipes. <laughs> My husband loves this. He will eat the entire bowl if I let him. Now, the Amish community uses this as a condiment. So they put it on their bread, and then they still put cheese and lunch meat and eat it as sandwiches, you know. Um, I don't go that far, but I love it on just bread. I love it on biscuits. I love it on toast. I love it if I'm going to eat pancakes or waffles any of that stuff but my favorite way to eat it is just on a piece of my homemade bread <laughs> I need to get some more bread but this is this is the heel part and I love it so yummy and that's it. That's all you do to make it. It's so good. You're going to have to try this if you haven't had it yet. So good. I'm going to make a big mess. Mmm. If my husband has his way, he would just eat this for dinner. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot and I sure do appreciate your support. If you haven't started following me on Instagram yet, you should. JennyGoff18. I post daily what I'm up to around here, including letting you know ahead of time what it is I'm making. <laughs> I'm on Facebook, and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes at JennyGoff.com, including this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.